Good morning, everybody. I hope you had a good week. So happy that you're here with me today on March 29th. Happy Easter weekend. I'm Kathy. Welcome to Yarn with Heart. I am so grateful for all the viewers on this channel. And I see that there are many new people who are watching and subscribing. Warm welcome and thank you so very much to all of you, ones who have been watching all along and new people who have found me recently. Um, let me take a moment to tell you a bit about myself and the channel. I am a shy person and this that you see on these videos is pretty much the in real life me. If you ever see me out in the wilds of the city that I live in, I hope you will say hello. And let me know that you are a YouTube friend. My, my husband and I live north of Toronto, um, in Ontario. We have two grown sons, and this YouTube channel is an extension of some volunteering I do with crochet and knitting. And it's a way for me to give back to this wonderful yarny community where I have learned so much over the past over 10 years. Um, yeah, so welcome. And I hope that, I hope that you decide to stay and subscribe and that we um, get to visit with each other each Friday. Um, this week's video will be about a shawl that I completed this month. Also a quick, a quick make item to put in the gift cupboard and about a completed blanket and a tip that I found helpful when I was finishing it. Um, giving a hint here that there will be a bit of a surprise at the end of this video. Also, a couple of shadows. One of these is a little something that I purchased from Angela at My Precious Yarnery. It's not yarn, but some of her beautiful handmade stitch markers. And a second shout out is for a designer who I have followed for many years. She has some important information for those of us who want to support creators while being careful about our budget. These things have helped me so very much and I would like to spread, spread the word. Um, next week, will be about a couple of events that I will be following in April and maybe some chat about yarn and my yarn stash, if all goes well, two demonstrations about how I keep track of the row that I'm on, about learning to use a knitting row counter and how I join yarn using the magic knot. It's a little bit non-traditional, but that's um, something that I'm hoping to share. So if you subscribe and ring the notification bell, you won't miss that next video on March 29th. So um, one second, I'm going to take a sip. There we go. So the first thing that I'd like to share about this one is called the Small Fans Shawl. It's by Olga Nikolaeva. I hope I've said the last name correctly. It's a free download on Ravelry. This is um, not a written pattern. It was a chart only. I used a six millimeter hook and scraps from a baby blanket that I knit previously. Those of you who've been on the channel for a while uh, would recall that 
we had a vote whether to make a baby blanket or a shawl with this yarn. And it was very lucky because after making the baby blanket, there was enough yarn left to make this shawl. It's made with Bernat baby coordinates in the colors Dove Girl and Soft Gray. And I don't know if I mentioned I used a six millimeter hook for this. So it will go, this will go to the prayer shawl group at the church where I attend this coming Friday. And it's as large as I could make it with the yarn that I had available. So I will show you, this is how much yarn that I had left, this, and this is how much of the gray. So I really was trying to make the shawl as large as possible, but you know, someone who maybe wants a smaller shawl or is a more petite lady will enjoy this one. Oh, and I'll try and show picture um, in the corner. Let me move off to the side so I can post a picture. And here is a close up of the stitch pattern. There you go. So that's the first item for today. Um, the second one, I might have a, a difficulty showing you the entire item because this is just about 63 inches square. So I'll show you a quarter. This is the peekaboo shells blank, a uh, peekaboo blanket by Bag a Day. Um, I used the Bag a Day crochet tutorial on her YouTube channel. Um, there is also a paid pattern on Etsy for this. I think I used a 6.5 millimeter hook. I didn't write down the hook size, which I usually do, but I'm quite sure that was the hook size that I used. And here I will try my best to hold this out. Jeff's not home right now, so I can't take a picture to post. There we go. But that's the entire blanket there. And this will be donated to for a teen shelter. Um, yeah. Now, when I was working on the final row of this blanket, Actually, when I was working on the second to the final row of this blanket, I started being concerned that I might not have enough yarn left to finish. So what I did was I weighed how much yarn that I had. And um, at that point, I noticed that I would not have enough yarn for the very last row of yellow. So instead of finishing the pattern as required, I found a YouTube tutorial called Beautiful Shells Blanket Straight Edge. It was by Yona Martinez. And this allowed me to finish the blanket with the yarn that ha uh, was left that I had available. Um, and it straightened off the edge. So I did have to do something a little different because this was a discontinued yarn and I could not purchase more. Yeah, this pattern was suggested to me by Christine Abrams in a comment to me and I have loved the pattern. If you haven't seen Christine's channel yet, please do pop over and watch some of her videos. I will uh, put a link down in the description how to um, find her channel. She has a wonderful way of combining colors and I do look forward to seeing what she will crochet next. So that's um, a big thank you to Christine for suggesting this. I think it's one of her favorite patterns and she mentioned it to me and suggested I try it 
with these yarns and she was absolutely right it did work up beautifully and I'm going to be so happy for a teen to be able to use this one. Um, now the next item that I found really surprised me. Last night I started this one and I was so surprised how quickly it worked up. Here's a picture of it on this book. It's called The Mitered Dishcloths. It was in page, on page 26 of this book called Lily Sugar and Cream Kitchen Colors. After I made it, I realized this is an out of print book and no longer available. But other similar patterns are available if you search miter dishcloth. I think Yarnspirations might have this uh, for free on their um, website. So what I did was I used a five millimeter hook and the Lily Sugar and Cream um, in the white on this one. And all of this teal variegated yarn came from my Cambridge Fibers Advent 2023 box. And I really did want to try this because I hadn't made a mitered um, item before. And I also do want to try and make something for my gift cupboard each week and this will be nice to tuck in with a spa basket or a spa bag as part of a gift. I can include some nice lotions and um, maybe some pretty handmade soaps and gift that to somebody. I do love these colors and I have one more um, ball of this yarn so it is very, very pretty colors, and I know a few people that will really enjoy that. Now, the next thing that I would love to let everybody know about, uh, one, one quick second, my throat's dry today. Um, Helen from Sunflower Cottage Crochet this is one of the shout outs that I'd like to do today. Um, she has two very interesting blog posts on her website that I'd like to highlight and mention about ways to support others in the crochet community. And at the same time, ways to stretch the donation budget to bring warmth and care to more people, budget conscious things as we all do splurge now and then, yet also want to know ways to stretch the budget too, because both splurge and budget are important. Um, when I found a blog post by Helen at Sunflower Cottage Crochet called about the From Us to You event, it's hosted by Helen and Sandra Stitches, I was all ears and all eyes. Each month, there are two patterns available as a free download for three days. If you accept the download, you are challenged to make one of that pattern to include in your donations for that year. Plus, all the previous patterns remain available on their websites. So one can still access the, all the patterns that way. Um, that's the first of those blog posts. Now the second blog post that I refer to so often as, a ma as it matters so much to give to the Yarny community and I am all about what quick things can I do to thank all the amazing people who I've learned from? Um, that second post from Helen, oh, it's amazing. Every time I read it, I learn something new. And she tells about so many ways to support crochet designers. And may I say, also to support knitting designers 
YouTube creators and more. As Helen say, says, without spending a penny, the blog post article is called How to Support Crochet Designers Without Spending a Penny. So for a very long time, I have subscribed to Helen's newsletter and Facebook group. She has wonderful tutorials on YouTube and patterns on her website for crocheters from beginner to expert level. And I will let you know in the description box how to find her. I will type the titles of both those blog posts. Now for the, the second shout out, I received some happy mail. And this is from Angela at My Precious Yarnery. And also, there will be a chance for everyone here at a gift. Um, I found Angela's channel very early in my own shopping adventures when I was looking for where to buy yarn in Canada and especially in Ontario, I popped Angela's channel. She is an amazing lady. She lets everyone know about yarn from all over, not just Ontario and Canada. She dyes yarn, does tutorials for her own patterns, and crochets beautifully. Angela's channel is the first place that I ever subscribed, the first live I ever watched, and she is the person whose suggestions on a live gave me the push I needed to start my own YouTube channel. A couple of times I have purchased handmade stitch markers from Angela, um, and they are so gorgeous. This week I received some stitch markers from her spring collection. I did not purchase the yarn and other goodies this time, just the stitch markers. Now these are ones that I had previously purchased. Let's see, I'm gonna put a piece of paper behind so you can. There's one. These are beautiful, I love flowers so much. Here's another flower. And this one. With a little heart. And these beads are beautiful that she uses. And let's open. Actually first, I want to let you know that in a small way to say thank you for all your viewer support, please consider entering a draw um, for a chance at a present. A small thank you for watching or subscribing or commenting or sharing with yarn with heart. I would like to gift this flower set of stitch markers to someone, plus I will gift that lucky winner a Ravelry pattern of your choice, maximum value of $10 Canadian. Um, to enter, please use the word flower in a comment below, and please do not say giveaway in the comments. Any kind, pleasant comment with the word flower in it will put your name in the draw. Um, comment by April 4th and the person who wins the draw will be announced on Friday, April 5th. One lucky person will receive this gift from me and the, the stitch markers and the pattern. Of course, YouTube has nothing to do with this and to enter you have to be at least 18 years of age. I will mail the stitch markers to you and I will gift the Ravelry pattern. If the winner doesn't use patterns or doesn't use Ravelry, we can work something else out. Um, the winner will have 
until April 12th to contact me by email. Good luck. Good luck. And now I will open my happy mail from Angela. So here it came in this beautiful little bag. And share her card. We are all winging it here. And isn't that true? Aren't we all? My precious yarnery made with love. Oh. And here's the first one. So pretty. I like butterflies too. Maybe, maybe as much as I like flowers, I like butterflies. And there's a heart on there too. So pretty. Thank you very much, Angela. Oh, and this one, oh, let's see which, there it is, a little, a little, oh, I don't know if it's an elf or a fairy, that's so pretty too. Well, Angela, thank you so very much for the happy mail <sighs> to everyone. Good luck with entering for the gift. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful Easter weekend. Enjoy your long weekend. Enjoy your crochet. Enjoy your knitting. And I hope to see you next Friday.